So when they said write a slam poem, I said, I won't do it for the competition, but I'll write it. I'll say it, I'll speak it, I'll feel it, I'll preach it, but I won't do it for the competition. Because I hope you hear the words coming out of my mouth and you're listening to the message I have brought. I hear about this one a lot, but I fear not the possibility that the messenger will be shot. Because inside me lives a pain. Society bears it no shame of a stereotypical nature where preconceptions are based off misconceptions, giving out a false ideology of who you and me are supposed to be. But I was never told that human actions could qualify into a color-coded category, and little yet could I quantify how many times that I've been told that I don't meet the criteria. This social construct affects me with deliria in pursuit of someone that I am not, because there was someone that I'm expected to be. But as soon as I let that somebody in, then this, this is no longer me. I become a different entity than what I know myself to be. But how many times have I been told that I don't meet the criteria? Wearing my slightly oversized blazer, my best white collared shirt, there's not a speck. My polished shoes and pleated pants tied tied up to my neck because I'm supposed to be in a baggy black shirt with a do-rag on my head. With a wristwatch that I can't afford and a chain that glistens, but wait, hold on, listen. Stereotypes of my clothed image based around a certain part of me. Because on TV we see all the stereotypes of you and me, the painted pictures and hints of mysteries, subliminally living underneath mass consciousness. Because preconception, take away the pre, just becomes our conception. It's not that hard to understand like Leonardo DiCaprio was in Inception, but I think you understand the direction in which I'm headed. Because it's quite straightforward, but some of our heads are way too high up that we need to take an elevator up just to reach the point where we are level-headed. Because when I see you, there's already a stereotype, a label that's been hundreds of years in the making. At camp, we play get-to-know-you games to get to know your names, but it doesn't matter what type of ice we're breaking. The real chilly part of it all is that no matter what I say or do, the color of my skin will imply a fake society-created lie of who I'm supposed to be of who I'm supposed to associate with, and who I should love, and how I should walk, talk, act, play, and so much more. Because I shouldn't have to meet the criteria of a young black male when that very same criteria fails to meet me. Because all I want, all I want, is to be me. Thank you.